everybody we are heading towards Snowdon beautiful view behind me beautiful lake in Wales and beautiful nice and fresh so we set off at five o'clock and uh, we're heading towards Snowdon which is the second highest peak in England or in Great Britain I believe uh, and that's a beautiful lake there we need some proper, you need the... Uh... Not correct, what you're saying. No, but the thing is, okay, Everyone we don't makes live you here, thing. right? Imagine if you live in... Right, here we are at uh, Snowdonia National Park, getting ready to climb this peak. How, how high is it? Well, thousand over meters. a thousand meters. thousand meters, got our warm drink, warming up. Give us a bit of energy and uh, see how we get on. So here we are. Down here. We're on the pig track, I think we're using. Or there's different routes you can take. The miners track. Which one? The pig track. There's different routes. <laughs> so it's 8 34 in the morning and we've begun the trek up to mount snowden which is 1000 and 1000 meters 1000 meters so uh you've seen me climbing kilimanjaro you've seen me climbing mount tubal let's do snowden and then coming down is the thing here we are on another trek. Beautiful day today, really beautiful. Wales is one of those most underappreciated parts of, uh, of the United Kingdom. It's got beautiful waterfalls. It's got lovely hills, contours, mountains, plenty of sheep, which it's famous for. Just look at that view behind me. Early morning, beautiful view. beautiful stream right we've done probably about 150 to 200 meters <laughs> half an hour's worth still a nice view over here let's have a look at the view here we are and there's something behind there too oh, you want to see that? yeah we're getting uh, aerobic exercise over here Masha'Allah. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gets a bit flat here. Decent view. That's a nice view. Nice <laughs> lake. So is that route quicker over there? Yeah, you want to go that way? Whichever you say. Uh, I think you go that way, we'll meet you at the other okay. stuck in front of you though. Oh, okay. It isn't very confident, it will take longer. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What do you want to do? Choices? Yeah. No, I think you should go that way. I should go that yeah. way. Okay. Why? We'll meet you at the other experience. Experience. Okay. Let's look at this lake first off. Beautiful lake. <laughs> That's a beautiful view. Yeah. That's what it's I watched, a selfie uh, spot. This one did right last time. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful view. The wind is picking up again, and uh, people are getting their layers back on here. Bit of a wind chill factor. So, yeah. right, we're about 300 meters, 280 meters, something like that. I run a bit into the climb, and. Uh, We've got about another hour, hour and a half to go. And uh, you don't want to slip up anywhere near there because you'll be sliding all the way down. Lakes. It's a bit smooth, the rock over here. Water flowing down up there. And a uh, sharp drop. Down the other year. Here we are. Oh yeah. And it's oh, a nice. lovely photo spot this. Yes, and you see he's taking his photos. Well, there, a few people are waiting over there. Come this way. Here we are. So we're gonna find our spot. Carefully of course. 
and get a spot where we can take a photo. What a view. Got a bit chilly, a bit of a wind chill in the air and the lads are layering up again. Ready for the next section. Bit of refueling, good old uh, potassium and uh, a nice view. And the wind has slightly eased now. The life of a bird, a shot. I've already got bug problems, right? So after drinking the water in the Hanza Valley in Pakistan, I don't think I'll be drinking any water coming down a mountainside again. So that's long, even though I'm thirsty and it looks rather fresh, we'll avoid that. That's a beautiful scene, look at that. Fair crowd today coming up, but look at the water shimmering. It's beautiful. Mashallah. We're approaching a park called the Wall of Death. We just come from there. There's about half a mile or a bit to go. And uh, behind me, it starts to become single file before you reach the wall of death. That's where we've got to get to. We're on this little ridge. Let's turn the ridge and uh, here we are. It's a, it's a bit of a ridge here. And that's the view. Right, we've reached a sort of a flat area. And we've just come from down there. <laughs> There's these guys doing the grand job of keeping the area clean. Lots of people gathered here. We've got to go further up over there. And there's a bit of a queue over there as well. So let's go. Achaji, we are about 900 meters, 800 meters. Yeah, probably. About 800 meters. And what's that? Is that a train track? No way. Oh, wow. So there's a train track right here. And we've done this. No one told you. And we could have bought a train. <laughs> Bloody hell. There's a train track. There's a beautiful train track up here. And we could have caught a train up here and saved ourselves all the bother of bashing our knees, getting into a sweat. Uh, it's a bit windy up here. It's a bit colder. Uh, you can feel the clouds. You can hear the train. So imagine the train coming past here. That'd be a beautiful sight. <laughs> climbing mountains you must remember the weather could turn out any minute and the weather's gone really cold right now so at the start you might feel warm you need layers always wear layers so you're stripping those layers off as it gets warm and as it gets colder and cooler as you get to the top of the mountain those layers come back on so never prejudge always look at the weather conditions and always expect it to be much colder at the top and the weather mountains the peaks have their own microclimate the clouds could come and suddenly the weather could turn and it could start raining snowing or blowing a gust I don't think the view is going to be super unique because it's cloudy, there's nothing to see and uh, the better view is on the way we were coming but we might as well now see what it is right at the top. It's, it's got a queue here but it's a bit cold and there's a bit of a wind. Right, just reach the top. Uh, the weather's not great, it's very cloudy, everyone's taking photos, there's a big queue, we somehow passed it and uh, let's have a look what we've got here. Little, uh, don't want to be. Don't know what this is. No. Okay, <laughs> there you are. And look at that big queue over there. And uh, unfortunately, it's really cloudy today up here. Go back down now. There's people waiting in the queue, and we're gonna head back down. It's very cloudy.
There we are, we've got the train station over there. Uh, it's nice and bright down there, you can see the lake and uh, it's brightening up as you go down. It's a bit cold right now, but as you go down, you find the weather will uh, perk up a bit. Here we are, I was gonna, there's somebody paragliding. Wanted, but. Not a problem. Look at that, beautiful. The skies have settled. The clouds are there, but the wind has settled for a moment. The peak is visible quite clear there. People are going up and coming down. And there's more coming down. So we're going to go to the lake and have some food. Those who reflect on the heavens and the earth. But prior to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an that those people who do dhikr, who do remembrance, so something well prior to the rational act of discursive thought and deducing what's in the heavens and the earth is to do dhikr, is to remember, is to contemplate, which is more powerful than the discursive act. لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لا رأيته خاشيا متصدعا من خشية الله. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in the Quran that if we reveal this Quran, this truth to the mountains, they would crumble. They would fall and be crumbled by the خشية of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, the awe of God. And man, know your worth. God says, I gave this amana. To the mountains and other things and they did not want to take this amana they declined it but the human being takes it at once God says the human being is valim and jahil he is an oppressor he is ignorant but at once God gives human beings the greatest stations so know your word ayaz qadre khud oh ayaz oh man no your own worth and that is the most important thing to realize your worth as the persian poem says qadre zar zar gar donad qadre ali qambar donad that it takes a man to know a man and in this regard the people who recognize the great awliya of allah and the value and the worth of these human beings in the firmament in the heavenly in the sphere of humanity they are truly good human beings, people who own a soft heart, a heart blessed with virtue and character are the people who are able to recognize the awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophets of God. So know your worth and by knowing your worth, you will know the beauty of God. Know that everything possesses consciousness. These rocks, animate and inanimate, possesses consciousness. It has a ability it has some sort of perception although we think only human beings and animals have perception and to an extent plants but know that rocks and stones and other things all have perception the quran says wa in min shay'in illa yusabbihu bihamdihi walakin la yafqahuna tasbihuhu there is not a thing that does not praise allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except that you cannot fathom and understand the praise of that thing. So feel the rhythm and the consciousness of nature around you. We're heading down. It's been about an hour and a half or so. We're going via the PYG route and uh, behind us was the minus 10 and uh, probably about an hour or so and we'll be back to the car park, but we might stop off some lunch near the, uh, the lakes because it's a lovely scene, uh, the weather's fair, uh, nice and calm, beautiful scenery here in Snowdonia today. Down the miners track, there you are, there's a guy wearing a uh, wedding dress going up there. Plenty of dogs, plenty of people bringing their, their pet dogs with them up here. Beautiful scene, water coming down. Reach the bottom of the pig root. 
And there's another nice waterfall just over there as well. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. The sound of the water and it's all coming down from the top of the mountain and feeding into this lake over here, natural lake, mashallah. And the sound is absolutely beautiful. You know, this is England. We have, and sorry, let me get that right. We're in Wales, but we're in Great Britain. We're in the United Kingdom. But look at it, Wales is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's a, what, two and a half, three hour drive from where I live. And you've got this, I mean, very surprised. Um, in the, on your own doorstep, literally. You got beautiful scenery, waterfalls, and that sound is just, it's therapy. If you feel depressed and anxious, just listen. Come to somewhere like this and feel and enjoy the sound of the water. Lee said, be like water, mm -hmm. always flowing, dynamic. And I think a human being should be inspired by running water and seek these bodies of water where nature is at its most prime. The water's flowing, the sound, it's so peaceful. I can hear the seagulls at the back. It is just beautiful. And when you do go on these climbs and these places, step back, take a sidestep from everyone else and find a quiet spot and uh, contemplate. Find some presence and uh, be at peace. I think that's the best uh, antidote to modernity, the fast paced life we live and uh, the anxieties we suffer from. There's so much in nature which uh, we think popping a pill is, is, is the answer. But remember, nature is medicine. Food is medicine. And lack of food is medicine also. So just expand the s scope of your being physically, mentally, spiritually. Beautiful, look at it. Oh, I could sit here all day listening to that. Just need a nice chair. And now the sun's out and you can see the rocks with the the glistening in the background. Beautiful sky. Just done wudu. Time to go and read namaz. MashaAllah, what a spot to pray namaz. Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala amongst nature. A great blessing. We're on our way back down, but the views are quite spectacular with the sun and the lake going down here. But it does impact your knees, these rocks do, going downhill constantly. Look at the clouds. That looks like it says Allah just over there. A shot Allah. Beautiful, still scenery. Right, we're heading down. We're by the miner's shaft or whatever, and this is why they call it the miner's turn. We've got knee issues with some of the lads their knees have swollen up the rocks they really kill your knees when you're going down you need to protect your knees because the pressure the gravity hurts your knees so look at this building an old miners building mining shaft so i guess there's a shaft underneath going in you know mined coal and whatnot look at that surprisingly clear lake beautiful look at this scenery i mean i've been going on about it all through my video but this is wales and it's two and a half miles away from birmingham and look at the scenery look at that water surrounded by beautiful hills you know oh, it's just absolutely beautiful look at it hello chairs beautiful chairs here a little table mini barbecue huh and you got a lovely lake in front of you, man. This is the perfect spot. Bring a couple of chairs. Yeah. And uh, I won't say grab one of those sheep, yeah, no, organic no. sheep off the hills, but bring your own. And uh, amazing. We could see the car park and the cafe. And you've seen the videos on Kili and uh, Morocco, Tufal. But always when you see your base camp or the refuge or wherever you started from and you're coming back it's a nice sight short distance to go and you can breathe a sigh of relief well done still a beautiful day beautiful views it's always good to hit the finishing line and we are here let's open this gate all right let's see where we are 
And that's it. We're all oh, sorry, guys. We're all done. Uh, miners track. I think that's the one we came down. Pig track. No, we came down the pig track, right? No, we went up the pig. We went up the pig track. Came down the mine. Seven miles, eleven kilometers, six hours. Miners track back.